All right, Henry Confidential here. Um, I'm a Jets fan, as you guys see, so I'm going to be uh, reacting to the Jets' very first pick. Uh, it's more than likely going to be Zach Wilson, but you never know. Uh, I've been a Jets fan since 2009, the season that right after we got uh, Brett Favre. I was in the market for a new team, and I didn't know who I wanted to go with. I was a big fan of defense and running, and the defense back in 2009 was fantastic, and the run game was amazing. Thomas Jones, Sean Green, so it's just one thing that I just got drawn to them because after the Brett Favre uh, year and then Mark Sanchez got drafted my last name is Sanchez so it's just one of those things it was my senior year in high school that I was like all right let's 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 go with it and I've just been a fan ever since and I got lucky that 2009 2010 we went to the AFC conference championship and pretty good team right there I really loved watching it and it's been a rough stretch ever since 2014 and 15 was decent. I really liked Brandon Marshall and Eric Decker. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick was a pretty good quarterback for some time. And other than that, the defense has been really great. I really miss Jamal Adams. The, that whole situation with him that uh, really bummed me out that it happened that way, but it is what it is. And now I am ready to move forward as a Jets fan and more than likely have Zach Wilson as our quarterback. So my prediction is Zach Wilson at two, and then if we don't trade up, either Najee Harris at 23, which I would hope because I'm also an Alabama fan, or uh, I would love to see us have JOK, Jeremiah Wusu koromoa if he uh, drops to 23, 22, yeah, 23. And then if not, if Greg Newsom's still there, um, I'd like him. The thing with Caleb Farley really affects the potential uh, cornerback group. Maybe he gets bumped up a little bit if a team's looking for a corner. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hate uh, Zee Ojolari. I see a lot of people mocking him to the Jets at 23. Put him on the other side as of uh, Carl Lawson, who was a fantastic signing. Uh, I would love to have. Um. I think that's really it, honestly. <laughs> Najee Harris, Greg Newsome, and Ojolari. And Ojolari is a stretch at that point. We don't need another edge rusher. Because now that we're going to a 4-3, I really think our, our the unit that we have will be able to get to the quarterback. But it is what it is, you know. It's, you know, not not for sure. So an extra edge rusher wouldn't hurt. But I don't think it's a, nece a, you know, a necessity in the first round. We do need corners. We need a running back. And technically, we need another receiver. So, I mean, I wouldn't be mad if we win Terrace Marshall uh, or Rashad Bateman. So, those are those are the five, four or five players that I would be content with at 23. Uh, Zach Wilson. So, he's a quarterback. Everyone wants to knock him for his uh, lack of competition. And my thought process is the competition is what it is. But you still have to be able to make the throws. You still have to make the reads. You still have to make the um, the plays. You still have to put it forth the efforts, and you still have to have the character. And he's got all that. You know what I mean? He he's a kid. You know he's 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 wiry. He's got he's got a little um some emotion to him. But there's nothing about him that is worrisome in terms of like is he is you know is he trouble? You know what I mean? So that doesn't bother me at all. You know I I, I don't know his leadership ability abilities yet. Um, Sam Darnold was one of those quarterbacks that I was just never a fan of like from day one and anybody who follows me knows that so I'm hoping that leadership wise that uh, Zach can step in right away and you know showcase that he is the guy um, the new Michael Floor scheme as they're talking right here on the screen I'm not sure how the audio is gonna um, translate but uh his scheme it's one of those things where it's quarterback friendly it's not fully Kyle Shanahan but coming from that Shanahan you know regimen that he's definitely I think he's got it you know in him to uh, do that so the pick is in uh, 
I'm loving this. I, I, I'm cool with the comparisons of Aaron Rodgers, Mahomes, you know what I mean? Just the fact that the, the, the arm angles that he throws with, the fact that he's able to throw on the run, the fact that he can throw off his feet, off his back feet and still get a great um, some power behind it, the fact that he's got his eyes downfield at all times, the fact that he makes the quick throws. Um, our offensive lineman, it's one of those that I'm not sure how it's going to hold up. I would, before... We, nothing against Zach Wilson. Like, I'm not knocking this, and I'm not even a fan for Sam Darnold, but I'm just a fan of protecting whoever's under center. So there was times where I was considering Sewell at two. So I'm not against um, getting an offensive lineman later in uh, the first round as well. Like, if Tevin Jenkins drops, I'd be cool with that. If uh, Dara saw somehow drops, I'd be down with that. If we trade up, I would love like to maybe get Jalen Waddle. I don't know what we're trading up for. I don't know if it's for a corner, and we just we just don't think that a corner is going to drop um, down to 23. Newsome specifically, probably. If we want to trade up, maybe for JOK. If uh, we want to trade up for maybe Quiddy Pay. If there's a chance that we think that he's starting to drop a little bit, maybe we can uh, jump. Maybe the Cardinals if. if uh, J.C. Horn and Sertain are both gone at 16. Maybe we think that the Cardinals might trade down because the only thing that they really want is corner. So here's Roger Goodell. Oh, man. Everyone thinks there's a chance it could be Justin Fields, but I'm just not feeling that. I've, I've been, you know, Zach Wilson, ever since we've 100% been in on quarterback, Zach Wilson has been, you know, the assumption, and I'm, and I'm cool with that. So let's see. Oh. With the second pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Zach Wilson. Yeah! Woo! Let's go, baby! J-E-T-S! Jets! 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 We got a quarterback! Let's go, baby. He looks good in green. I've seen a lot of photoshops of you know him. Look at that. Look at that attitude. That's what I like. That's what I like. I like that right there. He might actually wear number one, so that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool. Come on, baby. Zach Wilson. And so, Lewis, again, the lights will be bright on Broadway for a young man from Draper, Utah. Let's go. No question about it. Look, now the clock really starts ticking. Okay, now you're off the draft clock. Zach Wilson, baby. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Zach Wilson, the new quarterback of the New York Jets. Let's go. Let's get more than uh, two wins. 